Hello, saxophonists and other music educators. Um, I committed myself this year to, um, as part of my own education, to start uh, a pedagogy, a short pedagogy series, a little ped pedagogical tips, um, aimed at uh, band directors and other music educators who might not first and foremost be saxophonists and who might have picked up uh, weird or confusing pedagogy along the way. Um, and with that, today I wanted to talk a little bit about the demonstration that is typically used with students to learn about uh, cold, fast air, and warm flowing. So, um, we're in band, and if you're like me, you were probably taught to learn the difference between cold air and warm air by doing cold air, warm air, and that's fine, it's a good visual, it's a good demonstration, but for saxophonists, what does this have to do with the saxophone embouchure? Because unfortunately, the saxophone embouchure looks at the surface more like, oh, right? So, I was wondering how to better teach that for saxophonists. And for saxophonists, um, I came up with a trick, and I think this would work with clarinetists as well, with using the mouthpiece and barrel, but for saxophonists, mouthpiece and neck. I wouldn't do just the mouthpiece, and no one wants to hear a band room of saxophone mouthpieces playing all at the same time. Nobody wants to hear that. But what this does is allows you to put the, the student to put the neck in proper playing position with proper armature, uh -huh. and they can place their hand underneath the bottom of the neck. So when they play fast cold air, <laughs> as opposed to warm, slow air, they can feel the difference in the airspeed and the air temperature on their hand. And while they're doing that, since they don't have the entire horn there, they can feel what's going on, embouchure wise they can feel what's going on as far as their tongue and what positions they need to do to get that air faster and colder, which is ultimately the goal, right? So, this is just a little tip I thought you guys might be able to get some use out of, um, and hopefully it helps. I'll keep putting these out. Thanks.